Today's video is going to be all about gourmand perfumes that are perfect for the springtime. So if that's your kind of thing, then please keep on watching. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if it's the first time you are visiting. Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Hayley and I review fragrances. So in today's video, I am going to be talking all about spring perfumes, but specifically gourmand perfumes that are perfect for the springtime. And this is a really exciting season, transitioning in to slightly warmer weather. And that means the gourmand perfumes that I have picked for this video they're not too overwhelming, yet they can still be a little bit more dense than the gourmands that you might wear in the summertime. That's how I think about it anyway. So I guess if gourmand perfumes are your thing, then let's jump in to the first fragrance. Actually, before I jump into the first fragrance, I would really appreciate it if you could subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out and I will continue making content like this in the future. Plus, I would love to have you part of this amazing fragrance community. Now that's all out of the way, let's jump into the first fragrance. So the first fragrance is Sugar Kisses by Lorenzo Pazalia. I hope I am pronouncing that correctly. And as soon as I saw the notes teased of this one, I knew I had to sample it because this sounded like a gourmand dream. I think this fragrance is perfect for the spring and the summertime. It has this light airiness about it, yet at the same time, it's a very sweet, edible and realistic gourmand in my opinion. Now there are a lot of gourmand notes listed in the note breakdown. This fragrance is giving note porn. I was so intrigued what it was actually going to smell like because there are a lot of notes in this fragrance. I'm actually going to read some of them out to you because the list is pretty endless. So the notes include cacao butter, milk, Heliotrope, orange peel, and frangipani. Vanilla, coconut, chocolate, dates, hazelnut, tonka, and cacao blossom. Caramel, toffee, vanilla bean, brown sugar, white musk, benzoin, and rum. Is that not giving note porn? Because I feel like they've thrown every gourmand note into one fragrance. But to me, this doesn't smell like all of those notes. I'm not getting all of those individual notes. This smells like I have opened up a bag of pick and mix sweets and I am getting a blast of candy with a dose of cacao butter. That is how I'm personally perceiving this fragrance. It is sweet, so definitely the toffee and the caramel is coming through. It's very sugary, so the brown sugar will come into play. I am getting vanilla, but this smells like candy to me. I'm gonna spray it on my hand because the first time I smelled this, my dad was here and I sprayed it on him and he was like, wow, that smells like a 99 ice cream. I don't know if you know what that is depending where you live, but basically it's a soft serve ice cream. That is what my dad got from this. But to me, I got candy and pick a mix candy specifically. Yeah, I am still getting candy. It almost smells like squashies again another thing that i don't know if they have internationally but this smells like squashies or what are the lollipop versions called this smells like candy really really delicious but i also do get the ice cream reference that my dad was referring to it's almost like eating a soft serve vanilla ice cream with some kind of candy on top. I don't think anyone eats ice cream like that, but that is what I'm getting anyway. Now this is not for the faint of heart. This is very, very sweet, sugary, but it's fun and playful. And that is why I think it will be perfect for the spring and the summer. Now this brand is difficult to get in the UK. It's probably quite difficult to get wherever you live because it is more of an undiscovered niche brand. They have some fantastic fragrances though. Now I would definitely recommend sampling this house because they have some fantastic fragrances and it was my first experience going through a lot of the fragrances. And if you live in the UK, you should definitely check out this website, Adulge. They sell Lorenzo Pazaglia and some other hard to find niche brands here in the UK. 
And here I have quite a few different samples from this specific brand. And it's just a really good way of discovering a brand without having any failed blind buys. So yeah, I will link this website down below. They stock, as I mentioned, some hard to find niche brands here in the UK, including Lorenzo Pazaglia, of course, I've just mentioned that, but also Mason Mataha. They've also got Soradora and quite a few other brands. But anyway, if you are into a really sweet sugary gourmand that smells like candy or maybe vanilla ice cream combined, then definitely check out Sugar Kisses. But I warn you, it's not for the faint of heart. Next up is I Don't Need a Prince by My Side to Be a Princess by Killian. I just call this princess. This is too much of a mouthful for anyone to remember. But this to me is the perfect spring gourmand. It's also floral, so bear that in mind, but it has a gourmand edge to it from the marshmallow. And this is definitely one of my favorite marshmallow scents because it's not overly sweet or overwhelming. I don't find this juvenile in any way. And that is because it's mixed with some other beautiful notes, including tea. And the reason why I love this so much is because of the tea note that is combined in here. It is a fluffy cloud of vanilla marshmallow with some light florals that are sweet, very feminine in my opinion. And then you get the tea note, which cuts through some of that sweetness. I will always be such a fan of this fragrance. And from Killian, this is slightly more affordable than something like Love Don't Be Shy. The fragrances in these bottles are nearly half the price of their main collection for whatever reason. But Princess is definitely one of my favorite fragrances from Killian. And if you are on the hunt for the perfect light, fluffy, vanillic marshmallow scent, which also has some tea and light florals. This is one that I would recommend that you sample. It's a fail safe for me. I never get bored of it. And it's such an easy reach. I do think you can wear this all year round, but for me, it's perfect for the spring and the summer as a gourmand fragrance. Next up is Je ne sais quoi by Theo Cabanel. I haven't spoken about this fragrance in the longest time. It's such a unique composition in my opinion. This is not gonna be for everyone and that is because it does have a unique twist to it. But wow, this one is spectacular. I don't have anything quite like this in my entire collection. I find this one super, super comforting. Now, this is a rice dominant fragrance. Yes, rice. It also has tea in here, a combination of matcha tea and mate. But there is something so addictive about this. To me, it smells like creamy rice pudding, but it's not super sweet. It almost has this savory touch about it. My husband says this smells more like sticky rice, but I do get a creaminess from it. So that's why I would say it's more like rice pudding to me but then it has that matcha tea throughout it. I get a sweetness like there is some vanilla in here grounding it, but it isn't listed in the notes. Instead, it has a really woody base. It has sandalwood and guyac wood, but I just truly get a beautiful hot rice pudding that's sweet with a side of matcha latte. I don't know why that is what I'm getting, but I'm so curious if any of you have tried je ne sais quoi, what do you get from this composition? It is my ultimate comforting fragrance. Something so soothing about it. I actually wear this to bed sometimes as well. But if you're looking for a unique gourmand, definitely sample this one because rice and matcha tea, nobody's going to smell like you. And I think that's a good thing. Next up is Escapade Gourmand by Mason Mataha. And yes, I did have this in my collection before and I decluttered it because I said I had too many vanilla fragrances. Well, boy, did I miss this fragrance? I did miss this fragrance so, so much. And I feel like I didn't give it a long enough shot and truly missing something makes you realize when you've made a mistake. So I have it back in my collection now and it has risen up to being one of my favorite vanilla fragrances. I thought it smelled quite similar to Fire at Will by Javoy, and it does, they have similarities, but this goes in a slightly different direction. You do get that creamy creme brulee feel about the composition. It's sugary, so think brown sugar vanilla with creme brulee. 
This is the perfect layering scent, but also one of the most perfect vanilla fragrances to just wear on its own. I think this one is suitable all year round, but you can wear this in the spring and the summer because it's not overwhelming, at least not to me anyway. And I have been rocking this for the last few days and yeah, I'm so, so happy to have it back in my collection. This brand is constantly sold out. It's quite hard to get, especially here in the UK. I think there's only two retailers that stock it. This fragrance is still super popular. I see it all the time being recommended on TikTok. This and Bianco Latte have to be the most popular vanilla fragrances of the last couple of years. And I don't know which one I prefer. I need to wear this a little bit longer. I've had Bianco Latte now months and months and months, maybe nearly a year. So we shall see, they are different enough. I would say Bianco Latte is more milky, more creamy, more caramelized. Whereas this is more like brown sugar, creme brulee and vanilla. So yeah, I think this one makes the most perfect spring gourmand. Have you tried Escapade Gourmand? If so, please let me know what you think about it down in the comments and what you are getting from the overall composition. Next up is Sacred Bond by Reinvented. I think, this fragrance is so underrated. I think I've maybe only seen one or two people speaking about this one. And this is so incredibly delicious. It's quite complex as well. It opens with fruity raspberry, quite tart, yet at the same time also fresh. It's got musk in here, there's caramel, there's vanilla. You've got a sparkling bergamot up top, a juicy mandarin note. There's also saffron that grounds this. Oh, I forgot about the florals. There are sweet florals through the mid. You've got rose, you've got gardenia. It's just such an incredible fragrance that, oh, so underrated, so underrated. If you love the sound of the notes, I would highly recommend getting a sample of this one. If you like juicy raspberry, sparkling bergamot, sweet rose, vanilla and musk, it kind of smells a little bit cakey, like some type of sweet raspberry cake with some caramel drizzled over it. But then I'm almost getting an almondy, amaretto vibe as well fantastic fantastic fragrance it's floral yet it's gourmand and i just think it's perfect for the spring and the summertime and the bottles are super unique they definitely stand out in my collection i can't wait to try more from this brand i think they've got some new ones coming out i wasn't at essence in milan this year but i did see some sneak peeks on social media of some new fragrances that are apparently coming out. Anyway, we're talking about Sacred Bond. I definitely recommend sampling this one. Next up is Tom Candy by Hermetica. This is creamy caramel goodness. It reminds me of hard boiled sweets that either smell like toffee or caramel. We have something called Werther's Originals here in the UK. And this is what it smells like to me, or those toffee, the buttery toffee sweets. Again, I can't remember the name of them, but it's also got a floral touch to it and it has the tonka as the name suggests. So Tong Candy is a really good name to describe how this smells. It smells like candy, caramelized candies to me, but also milky but then it has the tonka bean and then some maybe light florals throughout. It's a little bit musky too. There is a slight pepperiness in the opening, but if you like the sound of a caramel candy sweet, hard boiled sweets specifically, milky toffee caramel type of sweets, this is what I'm getting from this with some tonka and with some musk. So perfect for the spring specifically. You can also wear this one in the summer. And I think this one is going to be a hit. It is a newer release, but I think it's been out for six months or so now. And I got this in the winter time. I can't wait to wear this some more in the spring and summer. But yeah, Tom Candy is such a great fragrance. So those were all of the fragrances that I wanted to discuss in today's video. Let me know if you have tried any of these and if so, what you think about them. But what I want to know is what are your favorite 
spring gourmand fragrances please let me know down in the comments because i always find the best recommendations through you thank you so much for joining me today it's been a pleasure as always i hope to see you in a future video to come thank you again and goodbye